why the EFF should be worried about NUMS's Workers' Party. AMSA couldn't trust the EFF and its compromised leaders to team up and build a strong worker-aligned movement, writes Ralph Mathga. As is always the case before the elections, South Africa is experiencing a mushrooming of new political parties intending to compete in the 2019 polls. Among the newly formed political parties is the NAMSA-created Socialist Revolutionary Workers' Party. The party has held its pre-launch conference in the last few days. If the name is anything to go by, the new party will certainly focus on consolidating leftist-aligned workers in the country. That will require that the party distinguishes itself from Kasatu or any other Kasatu-aligned political parties. The Workers' Party need to make it clear why they should not be confused with the SAC, South African Communist Party, or any party with leftist pretensions in the country. Since NUMSA was expelled from Kasatu in 2014 following their public criticisms of Jacob Zuma's presidency, the union has taken a fight against Kasatu and also the SAC. Channeling much resources to fight against the SAC or Kasatu may just be an overkill for the NUMSA political party. The SAC and Kasatu have respectively incurred a serious reputational crisis under Zuma's presidency. Both the SAC and Kasatu are no longer a formidable platform through which the ANC can access the workers' vote. The mere expulsion of NUMSA from Kasatu has defragmented the workers' vote. The damage that has been caused by Zuma's presidency on the tripartite alliance has had the SAC contesting local government by elections on its own in 2017. The level of deterioration was such that the SAC preferred to compete against the ANC in the by-elections, instead of supporting the party. Therefore, NUMSA's Workers' Party need not worry much about Kasatu and the SAC, the damage has already been done on that front. What is quite interesting about the Workers' Party is how the party will position itself in relation to economic freedom fighters EFF. Since its formation before the 2014 elections, the EFF has relished on the decline of Kasatu and the SAC as the voice of workers. The EFF has been able to pursue leftist rhetoric whilst the traditional leftist formations such as Kasatu and the SAC were figuring out how to forge a political life after the Zuma years. After the expulsion of NAMSA from Kasatu, speculation was rife that the union could team up with the EFF to build a stronger worker-aligned movement. However, an alliance between NAMSA and the EFF never took place simply because EFF leaders just could not shake off the character of tender-loving politicians who will always have to account on where they stand in relation to corruption and tenders in general. Having survived a grueling battle with the Zuma-aligned Kasatu, NAMSA could not risk their leftist political capital by teaming up with the EFF whose commitment to a meaningful revolution will always be questionable. Revelations such as the VBS scandal shows why NAMSA might have been so cautious when it comes to handling the EFF's attempt to lure the union. In snubbing the EFF and ultimately forming a workers' party, NAMSA has sent a direct message to the EFF. We don't think you can be trusted with anything, let alone a worker-driven revolution. The EFF should be very worried about the formation of a workers' party, particularly if such as party is led by individuals with no outright credibility problem. NUMSA's party will have to discredit the EFF as an imposter. Both the EFF and NUMSA prefer to show red. The question is, which red will fade quicker, and which one will stay brighter? There is just one problem the Socialist Revolutionary Workers' Party should try to avoid. The party should not elect leaders with reputational problems because that would result in a public relations nightmare for the party from day one. Ralph Mathga is a senior researcher at the Center for Humanities Research CHR, at the University of the Western Cape. He is author of When Zuma Goes and Ramaphosa's Turn.